Hi everyone, this is Ramona coming back at you. How have you been? It's been a quite a while. I hope that everybody had a wonderful Christmas. I know that me and my family did. It was really, really lovely. It's just, it's funny how in the end everything just pulls together really nicely. You know, it just falls together really well, well and good. And I had a really good time. So uh, the kids enjoyed their presents, their gifts, and I didn't cook this year, but um, I did have a wonderful dinner. Their dad, came, their dad came and picked them up. And they spent a lot of time with each other at their aunt's go like house jumping. <laughs> they brought me back some food because they said I wasn't going to cook this year. Nope. <sighs> I went all out for Thanksgiving, that was good enough for me. But anyway, it was a really good Christmas, and um, I hope that all of my subbies had a really great Christmas. So, um, okay, so today I wanted to talk to you uh, for the topic, which is, um, how do you live your life when no one's looking? What do you do in your life? What do you do for yourself? What do you do in your life when nobody's looking? Okay, so this mostly is, uh, you know, something for me that I've been going through as of late. And I feel like, you know, we're coming up at the end of the year, and I really feel like I'm getting ready for that huge transition over into 2014, because in 2014, so you're going to see a brand new Ramona. <laughs> Last year, I mean this year, 2013, I had said the same thing, and I went through a lot of changes, a lot of changes. Um, I, I basically took the year and stripped myself clean of everything and everyone. Um, just getting ready for a brand new way of living, a brand new life. And so it does bring me uh, over to the question, you know, what do you do when nobody's looking? Because um, I don't have any friends in my life, and I, I broke up with my relationship. It was a long-term relationship. And so there's really nobody here to, like, for me to, because I think, like, a majority of my uh, life, excuse me for a minute. But Demetrius, I asked you, please. Um, so, like, all of my life, you know, I've always tend to do things based on a show. I don't know if that's exactly it. Yeah, that's a part of it, but like, you know, like, um, or I'll, I'll tend to like do major changes because I'm either angry at somebody, or I'll tend to do different changes because, you know, I want to, I like people praising me, or I like that people um, are competitive with me, or I like when people are envious and jealous and we're, and, and, you know, I'm feeding off them, they're feeding off me, but, you know, it's like kind of like a group effort, a team effort, and that is why you excel, and that's why I excel, that's why I, I, I chose to, to make the many steps and changes in my life that I did based on my audience. So now I'm learning how um, really hard, it's really hard to uh, get motivated. Um, and motivated was the, the word that I really had to search for because I didn't, um, I know that I haven't made a video in, in a long time. Um, so I felt like, you know, kind of lost for a long time. I needed a lot of um, thinking about uh, all the transitions that I'm going through, what have you. And um, just felt like a lump on the log, lump on the couch, basically. 
it's feeling really, you know, not feeling like, like the, you know, the jogger I usually like to be or try to be. And it's easier to do that when other people are influencing you for the good or bad, to push you in doing something good or bad. But I don't really have anybody here anymore to force me to do that. So what I'm learning is that I have to... The changes that I'm going to be going through in 2014, which there are going to be quite a few, uh, I just know because I'm preparing my head for that. Um, a lot of it is going to be difficult because I am the one who's going to have to give me the motivation. I, the love that I have for myself has to be motivation enough for me to get up and do things. Um, I also have my family. Um, that's a great motivation as well. You know, but you kind of, it's kind of different with your family because it's kind of like not a big way, but it is kind of different because, you know, outsiders, they don't have to be there. They're just there because they want to be there for whatever their reasons are, you know, a family, they're just, they're there, they are there, because they have to be, <laughs> you know, so, but still, I get that my motivation, you know, to get up on a, on a schedule, because it's like another thing that I, it's, there's so many things that I want to try to do for myself, but it's just, that's like a major thing that's going to be, I, um, like I said, I've been having like a really hard time feeling kind of like uggs, you know, and um, just gaining weight, you know, I actually, because I'm not going to say that I was depressed or anything, because I, I don't think that it was necessarily that, I do think, however, that I was giving myself a huge rest, a, a big breathing rest, a physical rest, a rest from getting off the, you know, getting out, out of the race, because um, all year I just felt like I was racing, I was racing to the finish line to get this, that, 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 and done, and I need to get as much done as I can possibly get done for me to be satisfied, you know, at the end of this, at the end of 2013, I'm tired, I'm tired, 2014 is coming around the corner, and, um, and then I'm going to have a whole slew of new different changes and experiences that I'm going to have to take on and go through in order to become, transform into the person who I want to be. Okay. And so I had, I was getting to that point where I was just a little bit, um, oh, so I was saying that I just, it just felt it felt good to just sit there and pig out on pizza, my soda, chips and ice cream, sit there guilt-free watching Charmed, one episode after the other after the other, chilling on the couch and not doing diddly squat, because, you know, it felt nice, it felt nice just to relax, you know, and guilt-free, that's what I think we just all need that time to think, to relax our bodies, relax our minds, and also really um, start, uh, so, you know, you prepare yourself even just for the thinking process and, and or figuring out what it is that you're going to be doing, you know, different changes that you want, resolutions. My New Year's resolution is not at the beginning of, for the beginning of the year. It's going to be for all year 2014. Oh, I'm stressing my neck. Oh, man. Sorry about that. And, um, so I've just been thinking a lot, like, you know, what's going on with me? And I... I do a lot of research, a lot of my own archives about all the different changes that I've gone through, all the different changes I want to take on 2014, things that I want to wrap up. I want to get my mind organized and be prepared now um, for the new year. And um, 
Yeah, so I, so one night I had said to myself, well, one night I, I had said out loud because, you know, as you know, what I believe in, so, um, and I know that we have angels, we have people around us helping us out, angels, our ancestors, what have you, so, you know, just voicing it out loud that, you know, I need to know what I'm going through right now. I need some answers. Why am I going through this lump right now? What what do I need to learn about this this trans transition of relaxing my body, my mind? What do I? What is it that I need to know? And um, I had went to sleep, and the huge dream that I had was all of the key word there was motivation. And um, when I woke up and I, I wrapped my mind around that, I'm like, oh, that makes absolute sense. That makes absolute sense. My so my big focus for two for for this not for the entire year, but maybe for the entire year, which is motive, you know, finding ways to do things because of me, not because of anybody else, not because anybody else is looking, not because of anybody else's influences, because that was like a major thing that I wanted to do, is to start doing things on my own, stand, to know that I can stand on my own two feet, whether I stand or fall, it's because of myself. Uh, when I fall, there's nobody else to blame but me. When I excel and I'm successful, there's nobody else to pat on the back and congratulate other than me. <laughs> and so, um, so I, you know, motivation, motivating myself. I am the source of my motivation. Um, today... Today, I actually um, did something that I haven't done in a really long time. Um, I was actually kickboxing. I found a video that I really enjoyed, and um, it's 40 minutes long. Today, I did 16 minutes of it, cause I, which is a long time. It's, it's from going to sanitary to... A 16-minute workout was a pretty big deal, and I thought that was really awesome that I went 16 minutes. Um, I was watching one of my, my favorite um, people to watch. I have three people that I, I really like to watch. They're really um, strong motivators. Every time I watch them, I'm like, yeah, you know, and... Um, so he has said, because he, ha he has his own gym, Weight Watcher, like, not Weight Watchers, but, like, he lifts weights and stuff like that, you know. I'm not talking about, but he's just, a, he's good at motivating people, and he has his channel about doing that. And, um, you know, so he said, take on a three-day challenge. You can stick to a schedule of exercising and working out for three days, you conquered, you know, what most didn't care to conquer, you know. And he also said that basically for a lot of people, um, it's just getting up and doing something, getting it started. Because once some people get it started, get the ball rolling, then they'll continue on with it. But he said, take a three-day challenge. See if you can do it three days and stick to the schedule. You know how, like, you have a doctor's appointment? You don't go ahead and miss it. You, you can't. You gotta, I mean, that's just common sense, right? You can't miss a doctor's appointment because, or, or, well, some people might miss a doctor's appointment. But, like, work. You know, the roof that you have over your head and everything that's in it, you know, is is you have it because of the job that you you know is supplying you with the money in order for you to survive. So you don't just choose to oh I'll go in at nine o'clock today. Oh, I'll go in at oh, I'm an early riser today. I'll go in at seven. 
No, you don't do that. You're supposed to be at work at 8 o'clock every day. To the day. You know, you don't make up your own schedule. You get in it. So basically, that's what I'm going to do. So I pick the time every single day for the um, next two days. This is taking a three-day challenge. Um, 12 o'clock every day to get up and work out. Drop everything. Have the sneakers on, prepared, work out at 12 o'clock. So um, that's what I'm going to basically do. And um, discipline. Um, I also liked how he was talking about, um, you know, when you, when, you, when you are in shape, when you're feeling good, that, that extends your confidence and you start feeling better about yourself. You, yourself, not feeling powerful so you can go out there and put a show on on a stage for the world. No, it's your own personal growth, mental, your physical, your mental, your emotional, you're doing it for you because that's the, that's the major thing that I want to learn. Okay, that's a major thing that I want to focus on. Oh, my hand. I don't know why it is my hands burn at night time. It's crazy. Major, can you give me my lotion, please? And, um, I'm going to talk to my doctor about that. It's weird. But anyway, um, so, yeah, so, um, it's, it's really hard, you know, uh, it's been five months that I, you know, that I'm not with anybody officially, you know, and so, it's, um, thank you. Oh, my hands are burning. And it's really difficult to get things done that need, just the simple things that need to get done, you know? Because it, it's funny because, like, when you're with somebody, you, you feel, like, more spirited, more happy. You don't think about having to think, clean the house. You just get up and do it. You whistle while you work. When nobody's looking, it's like, why am I cleaning the house? For me, <laughs> okay, but you know, you get up and you do it. You go to work, all right. But you know, I'm getting all this stuff. Like, who's looking? You just gotta get up and do it for yourself. Do it for you. You know, like, um, why should I work out? And start feeling healthy, start feeling alive and well and what have you. But why would you do all that if nobody's looking? You're looking. You're looking. I'm looking. Okay? So I'm looking at myself. I want to feel good. And, you know, it's not for anybody else. So basically, I want to do for me. That's a big part of learning to love myself because that was another, that was all 2013. That's what motivated me for that entire year. It's the love of myself, which I didn't have before. So now I want to, um, uh, but like a lot of the, a lot of major, um, pieces of motivation that helped me out is that people were praising me, patting me on my back, you know, saying, hey, Ramona, go, 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 that's so awesome, you know, so and that, that was helpful. This year, I mean, 2014, I just feel like that's gonna, it's going to be the year of amazing changes, and it's going to be all about because I want to make those changes, and it's not for a show for anybody. This is a closed private audience, <laughs> population one. So I'm going to wrap this up, and um, so I just want to say thank you for everybody being patient um, with me while I get my stuff together. Um, please, if you have any, um, any oh, and I also want to let, I'm going to make another video about that. Um, okay. Love everybody. Please like, subs like, share, subscribe. And if you have any questions, any like, if you need any advice whatsoever, please um, inbox me. Um, okay. Thank you.
Love everybody. Bye.